Hey everyone, this is Akhil from Install or Not, and today we have the Infinix Smart HD smartphone with us. This is a new variant of the Smart series that Infinix has launched. So let's have a look at the device and see what all does it have to offer. So let's get started. So now let's first unbox the device and see what all does it have to offer inside the box. The first thing inside the box, we have the smartphone itself. We have the Topaz blue color variant of the Infinix Smart HD smartphone with us. The device feels pretty well built and does not feel heavy besides having a 5000 mAh of battery. The rear of the device is made from plastic, but it's made of very good quality and there are no fingerprint marks on the device as much as we use it. Next inside the box, we have a standard wall adapter. There is no fast charger provided with the box. Uh, next we have a micro USB cable and next we have some documents, some warranty card and basic user manual. Apart from all this we also get a screen guard inside the box and there is also a clear case inside the box that comes with the device. It's a hard case and it's a see through case and looks pretty good and it's a great add on in the device at this price. So that's it for the unboxing of the device. Now let's have a look at the device and see what all does it have to offer. The first thing that we notice about the device is the build quality. The build quality is quite great and the topaz blue color variant that we have with us looks pretty good. It's a well built device and feels pretty sturdy to hold in hand. On the right hand side of the device we have the volume rocker buttons and the power button. On the left hand side there is nothing, no button or no port out of it. At the top we have a 3.5mm audio jack and at the bottom we have a charging port with a micro USB port to charge the device. Now you would have noticed that there is no SIM tray uh, on the device and that's because the back of the device is removable. When we remove the back of the device, we are exposed with the battery cover and there are triple SIM card slots, two for the SIM cards and there is one micro SD card slot as well. You see the battery, there is a 5000 mAh battery branding over it. It's a plate over it, so maybe the plate can be removed and the battery might be replaced but as of now, the battery cannot be replaced. So now let's talk about the specs of the device. The first thing that you notice about the device is the screen at the front. At the front we have a 6.1 inches HD plus display. The screen has a drop down notch and it has a 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio with 85% of screen to body ratio. The screen is a 720p display. It's a pretty decent at this price. In terms of processor, we have the Helio A20 processor. It's a quad core chipset and it's decent processor in terms of the pricing that we have for, the, for this device. In terms of storage, we have 32GB of internal storage and there is 2GB of RAM for it. It's an entry level device so the RAM and storage combination is quite okay. In terms of software, it's running on x software that's built by Infinix. It's a custom software built on Android 10 and this device has the Android 10 Go edition so the x is built over the Android 10 Go edition over it. And in terms of SIM card, we've already discussed there are three SIM card slots, like two of them are for SIM cards and there's a micro SD card slot as well. There's a fingerprint sensor on the rear, it's quite fast and there's also face unlock capability as well for this device. In terms of battery, it has a massive 5000 mAh of battery and with paired with HD display and the Helio A20 processor, the battery would definitely last for about two days. We'll check it out in our review as well. Uh, in terms of camera, at the rear we see that the square cutout for the camera seems like there would be a, a dual or triple camera setup but there is only one camera at the rear, it's an 8 megapixel camera and we took the camera for a spin for some photos in the nearby park so here are the camera samples that you can see for the device that we have captured for it. The camera samples are quite good, there is an AI camera detection mode as well and it works quite decent for the price that the device comes in. So that's it for the device that we have with us. The Infinix Smart HD device has been launched today and it's available for sale. Uh, the device is priced at 6000 Indian rupees for the 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. There would be 3 color variants available for this. We have the topaz blue color variant that we have with us. There would be a green color and there would also be a black color for it. So overall the device feels quite good at the price. 
and we'll be also doing a gaming review for it the video comes out today for the gaming review of this device and we're going to test out a lot of games for this device and see how well does it perform at this price also we'll be also doing a full review of the device in the future so stay tuned for that as well that's it for the unboxing of the infinix smart hd smartphone so that's it for it uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more such videos like this